Your first step in conceptual energy analysis is to select the location of your project, uh, project site. Um, from that, once you've given the address, you can select from interpolated weather stations that are local to the site itself. You can almost see from the illustration that they are on a grid pattern, so they're equidistant from each other. And what they're doing is summarizing uh, or interpolating historic data from weather stations that are in the area, like uh, airports or, or maybe a particular building might have a weather station. Um, and these will be used to give you something very specific to the site that you're working on. If you look, you'll see that one of them is highlighted in orange. It's the closest one, but you could select on any weather station file to pick the one that was most appropriate. On that overall process, the big picture that we looked at very quickly on, on another movie, you're seeing that you're now looking at just the first phase of setting up the model, defining the location so that you can pick on weather data for that location. I'm in the project file 01 CEM, Concept Energy Modeling. I've got a site modeled where I've got a, a mass representing the, the ground uh, form and then three existing buildings, or three buildings. At least this one will be proposed, these will be assumed to be existing. And so what I want to do is I want to show you how to get the weather files. First place would be on the Analyze tab. You can go LO or you can click the location icon and you could go in and you could give a location. So what I've done is I, uh, set some pre-existing ones. You could type in the address and say search and it'll move you to that location. You'll be able to see the site and the, and the weather files. So let's go first of all to University of Barcelona. Search. There it is there. Now what you probably want to do is, is you can uh, look at the, the site in more detail. I'm going to try and get a bit closer to this. Uh, the significance of the site location is especially to do with the latitude. This 41.38 degrees um, is very significant because it affects your shading devices and maybe the angle for photovoltaic cells. It would be kind of an optimum tilt for maximum shading or for maximum collection of, of solar energy. Um, if you look at the satellite image, you'll be able to see more about what's actually going on in the site because you don't really know about uh, existing buildings or existing vegetation or land type or any of that information, but you could get it from the, maybe from the aerial photograph. You might also just want to check out terrain because you want to see uh, that you're not picking maybe a weather file that's not appropriate for your your site. So let's say I've I've picked this. What I'm going to do is um, just assume that I'm going with those settings. If I now pick this is Barcelona, so if I now pick my school building and say I want to send a a level one floor through it, so the ground floor is now running through it. I'm going to go with energy settings. Again, I'm not going into detail at the moment. I just want to say let's change this to being a, a school or a university and um, create me an energy model and I'm just going with all the defaults. So the only thing I'm trying to vary at the moment is just the, the weather file itself that it uses for the analysis. So if I'm done with that, I can now say analyze the model. Let's call this Barcelona. Okay, now while, while it's, uh, I'm going to send off the model to be, uh, I've sent off the model to be analyzed. While it's analyzing that model, let me just show you that I can go and make further changes. So another place to change the location would be here. 
set location, let's move it to Las Vegas. I don't have it in there, so let me type in Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. I can zoom in on this. And I know that uh, the university here, my first study is already finished, right? So I'm looking down at this location near Flamingo Road. Let's look at the terrain. Let's look at the satellite image. Let's go a little bit closer. Um, I know, for example, that the School of Architecture is. It's right over here. I'm going to put the site on the car park right outside there. So that's the School of Architecture, that's the site. Beside the county library. Right. So if I uh, if I accept that, I'm going to accept that as my location. This is now 36.11 degrees, that's the latitude. And um, just before I go any further, let me show that I could also specify the location from here under Sun Settings. Right, so that would be another way to get to the, the data. And I think... Uh, now I want to do a study here, so I'm going to uh, say Analyze that model. I've still got the floors applied. Let's call this one Vegas. Uh, let me look at where I stand with this project at the moment. I've got to show two different locations using the weather files, so different or varied as the weather files. So if I go to results and compare, if I look up here I can see uh, there's the Barcelona one that was finished. And here's the Las Vegas one that's almost finished. That's pretty quick. There's my notification. So I've got Barcelona and I've got Las Vegas. And what I can do is I can select both of them here and I can say compare them and I'll see them side by side. And all I want to look at is I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit and see the difference the climate made. see if I can move this in a bit. Now I've actually got differences in the uh, utility costs, but I've got the same number of people because it was classified as being a school. And what I wanted to look at was down, sorry, it was down here, is the cost, life cycle cost. So there's a significant difference, $306,000 as against $284,000 with uh, Barcelona being a little more expensive than Las Vegas. I want to make it clearer that the weather stations themselves are interpolations of weather data so there are physical locations in the world, like airports, that record climate. Uh, that information is gathered, but then it's interpolated on a grid, as it were, so that it's available uh, anywhere in the, in the world. If I change my set location, um, so that I'm going to go to San Francisco, What I'm doing is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take the project and I'm actually going to drop it out at sea somewhere. So here, if you look at the data here, you can see that the elevation now says zero and it's got uh, weather data interpolated from other physical locations. If I take my site and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the the East Bay. Let's, let's go back here. Let's move it. Uh, actually, let's put it near Chico, where it's uh, there's adjacent mountain mountain ranges. So if I move this around, 
if you looked at those you would find that uh, you've got the different elevations picked up for the interpolated weather station itself right? 